What's up? Oh, I'm back again with another video and today this will be my one week with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I went and picked this up from Best Buy on September the 20th. So now it has currently been a week since I've had the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I'm just going to tell you some of the things that I think about being able to use this for one week now. So far, so good. I love the extra screen real estate on the iPhone 16 Pro Max and as you all know that is something that I keep talking about every time I make a video that is why I went on and picked up the iPhone 16 Pro Max not because I needed to upgrade and I really got peaked interest when they said this was coming out with a 6.9 inch display I feel like it should have always had 6.9 inches not 6.7 inches a lot of people may not like this because they say it's too big but for me I have regular size hands I don't think I have big hands but this fits in my hand just fine I can come up here and reach the top with no problem and with me adding a case on it does not add any kind of extra bulk I love the extra two inches on this display because and this is what the iPhone 16 Pro Max looks like outside. I don't know how well you can see that, but to me, it is pretty nice problems. Overall, this is just a nice looking and feeling device because it's bigger. Screen real estate makes me love this device even more. But like I said, I'm going to always have an iPhone on me only because I'm used to the iMessage, the uh, FaceTime. And I just like how Apple devices just work. They're simple. They're easy to use. And now that you have the iOS 18 update, you can make this look like a different phone. Another thing that I do enjoy is that the camera button you can actually use it for Instagram. If you take a lot of photos on Instagram, you do not have to have it set to your main default camera. You can change it to Instagram. The only downfall with that is you cannot change it to Twitter. It only gives you a little things that you can customize it to, but that's also nice. It also lets you customize it to your QR code scanner. So if you have a QR code and you want to quickly scan it, you can just press it and it'll take you straight to the QR step. But so far I am enjoying my time with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I do love how they made the bezels a lot slimmer. This makes the phone look even more futuristic than it already is. I will be doing some videos comparing this to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so just bear with me. But overall, this is just a nice device and I love that I got it even though this is the same phone pretty much it's still working and i love it and it's iphone i'm going to continue to say that because it is true apple Intel intelligence is not currently ready right now but i did not buy this phone for apple intelligent features i bought it because it was the latest device coming out from apple and it had a two inch bigger screen display than the iphone 15 pro max and that is pretty much why i picked up iphone 16 pro max so if you're out there and you want to upgrade would i recommend you upgrade i could say yes but only if you are coming from iPhone 13 Pro Max or iPhone 14 Pro Max if you have an iPhone 15 Pro Max there is really no need to upgrade unless you just want that 6.9 inch screen display just like me and if you can find this at a great deal I just love the sleek design that it gives but uh it's still looking good as you can see on the edges no scratches no dents uh, I threw a screen protector on there so I can make sure this gets no kind of scratches at all. Or I'm just enjoying my device. Some people may say, oh, Apple's just selling you something over and over again, making slight changes. But that's to be expected because every phone company out there is doing the same thing eventually. Of course, you're going to run out of different kind of designs and ideas and you're just going to make incremental changes like this is an incremental change in the two inch extra screen display you get all 48 megapixel cameras instead of having 248 and 112 you get the thinner bezels that's why i can say that if you have an iphone 15 pro max to not get this device the only reason why i got the device is because of a updated screen display 
that is my main reason for getting an iPhone 16 Pro Max. I know it may sound dumb, may sound stupid, like, oh, you wasted your money. But to me, I didn't waste my money because this is the device that I'm going to be using for a good little minute. And I am enjoying using this device. I am actually happy with my purchase. An iPhone is an iPhone is an iPhone. Once again, it doesn't matter what iPhone you really have. It just all depends on what you like and what you can afford. I'm not saying that I can afford this, but I was able to get it on a deal. And I wanted it because of the extra tint screen. And me, it's making a big difference because I just feel like I have a lot more screen real estate than I had on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'm always used to having the bigger screen display. 6.7 inches is a sweet spot. You know, certain people just do not like big phones, but I'm a lover of a big display. It's just something about it. It just feels like I can do more. I get more screen real estate. I don't have to worry about trying to bring the phone up close to my face to do things or to squint my eyes to do things because this is more than big enough and more than capable enough to provide me with the things that I needed to provide me with. But if I was not a YouTube tech person, I probably would have uh, iPhone 16 Plus because before I decided to get the iPhone 16 Pro Max, I was like, maybe I should trade in my iPhone 15 Pro Max and just get the Plus. Because if I wasn't a YouTube tech person, I wouldn't mind having only two cameras. The reason why I can say that is because this is a nice phone, but I don't always take pictures on this 16 Pro Max. And this is just something that I wanted. But if I was just the average person out there, I would have an iPhone 16 uh, Plus and be just fine with it, even though it has a smaller display, which is a 6.7 inch screen. The reason why I like the thought of having an iPhone 16 Plus is because you get color choices, you get color options. If you go the Pro Max line, you only get these bland adult color options. That was just my thoughts of me having the iPhone 16 Pro Max for a week. I will catch you in the next one, I'm out.